Okay, now we're going to talk about some problems that can happen in your respiratory structures as a result of trauma. So, fractured ribs. You can get fractured ribs from a lot of different ways or places or accidents or intentional harm as well. But um, with fractured ribs, what we want you to know about it is that it's typically painful, um, which I think makes a lot of sense, don't you? Um, but it's not usually considered a very serious um, diagnosis to have fractured ribs. It's only serious if it's already accompanied by other illnesses or injuries as well. It might cause flail chest, and this is um, a um, phenomenon that can happen when two or more adjacent ribs, which means ribs that are next to each other, are fractured in multiple places, and then there are fragments that are just free-floating within that um, thoracic cavity. It affects the chest wall stability because we know that the, the ribs really provide a good structure for our chest, right, for our thoracic cavity. And if they break off and we have free-floating fragments, then that definitely affects, um, you know, the stability of that area. Um, and here's the um, phenomenon that can happen. You start noticing paradoxical movements within the chest. Now, paradoxical, the word paradox means something that is opposite of what it should be, okay? So paradoxical movements mean that the chest is moving in opposite motion of what it should be moving. So typically, when you breathe in, the chest goes out. When you breathe out, the chest goes in. It's opposite with paradoxical movements as a result of flail chest. When you breathe in, the chest goes in. When you breathe out, the chest goes out. It's the opposite of normal, okay? And that signals to you that the patient has flail chest, which means multiple fractures of ribs with fragments floating. Um, it's going to affect the intrathoracic pressures, and it also affects the um, ability of the patient to move air in and out. Um, here's a picture explaining the paradoxical breathing, um, and there is a video as well, and I'll go ahead and play that for you. See how it's opposite of what it should be? It's kind of frightening. Okay, so the treatment of flail chest, um, you need to give them some el elastic bandaging or a rib belt just to help immobilize the chest. And we use that with multiple fractures. It can eventually lead to decreased lung expansion, which causes complications like pneumonia or atelectasis. Um, in extended periods of time. If you remember, atelectasis is lung collapse. And pneumonia can be caused by any kind of fluid getting into the lungs and causing um, damage and infection. So we want to give them pain medications, a lot of it, because it is very, very painful. So stay on top of your patient's pain. Ask them frequently what their um, pain is on a scale of 1 to 10. Here's the question. Pause the video, see if you know it. Okay, here's the answer. Check yourself, see if you got it right, why, if you didn't get it right, why you didn't get it right. And we'll be back to talk about something else in a minute.